Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about shell rot, how to prevent it, and how to treat it if you think your crayfish has it. Let's get into it. So the first step is to identify if your crayfish actually has shell rot. Even if you're a little bit scared, you should start to isolate your crayfish, put it in another tank far away from other crayfish and other crustaceans so it, the infection doesn't spread. It's quite contagious, so make sure not to cross-contaminate any kind of water, and make sure your crayfish is put in an actually sterile tank, which is nice and healthy and will have everything that your crayfish needs, and has been cleaned and cycled. Then after that you can start to prepare a salt bath once your crayfish is comfortable but always make sure to use um, dechlorinated water for your crayfish's salt bath and tank because you don't want chlorine in there. To make a salt bath all you'll need is just some aquarium salt, some dechlorinated water and a small container for your crayfish to lie in. Put your crayfish in the salt bath but don't submerge it all the way so it can still breathe and crawl out and just leave it in there for about 5-10 to 10 minutes. After the salt bath, you can consult either your pet store or a vet who knows something about crayfish and ask them what kind of medication they can give to your crayfish which will help it recover. Some people use Melifix, but it really depends on what your crayfish is doing and what kind of species it is and how sick it is. Once your crayfish has received treatment, there are a few things you can do that just help your crayfish feel a little bit more comfortable and should help it heal a little bit quicker. For example, giving it more hiding spaces than usual so it has lots of places to rest and recover, um, giving it different kinds of foods that have all the kinds of nutrients and stuff that it needs to help recover as well. Um, you can maintain your hygiene in your tank by cleaning it more and removing any uneaten food to like prevent water quality issues. But other other than talking to the vet, that's really all you can do at home for your crayfish and make it more comfortable. Now the best thing I'd say for shell rot is just try to prevent it from happening in the first place. Prevention is much better than cure. The biggest things I'd say for trying to prevent shell rot would definitely be water quality because water quality definitely tells the difference between how severe it will be and how quickly it can catch. So you should definitely try to regularly test and monitor your water parameters, which I have a video on, and perform more water changes than usual if you think your crayfish is likely to catch it. Make sure you have a proper filter too to try and remove most, most of that waste and contaminants. But overall, the easiest option is really just to clean your tank more. You should definitely put some more calcium in their diet. Like I said before, kale and spinach is really good for them. Avoid overfeeding because that just contributes to water pollution. Solution. Um, try not to put aggressive animals in there including other crayfish because um, if they get like open wounds and stuff that just gives opportunities for not just shell rot but other kinds of sicknesses to enter. Um, also you should maintain proper tank conditions during molting because that's the easiest time for them to get sick um, and try not to touch them because they're much more vulnerable when they're molting. Um, also make sure there's enough oxygen as well because uh, oxygen really helps so ensure there's enough in the tank and it's well oxygenated and promotes overall health and can support the recovery if your crayfish is sick and if you are really really scared that a crayfish that you just got may actually have it then just quarantine it before you put it in um, quarantine new additions and that just should hopefully like prevent the spread before it gets out of hand observe new additions and if you if you think they're sick just take them out and isolate them and do the stages that i told you before and if you're if you're really really scared as well about a crayfish that you already have you can try using preventative medications but i try to avoid this and i haven't had to do this before like you can use um medications with antibacterial antifungal properties especially if you've had previous previous shell rot conditions and um shell rot cases but i wouldn't I, have, I haven't done that myself so i don't have too much experience with that but yeah um there are quite a few options if you are looking to try and prevent it as well because in my opinion preventing shell rot is so much better than trying to cure it and it's a lot easier all right if you're new to this sort of stuff and water parameters and all those things, I have a video on that which really helps and a bunch of really good tips if you think your crayfish might be becoming sick or stuff, you should definitely check that out on my channel too. Thanks for watching to the end and please like and subscribe.